Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jerry. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on adaptive layout. In this part of the series, we'll look at adaptive presentation and how a view controller can control its own presentation style at runtime based on the current trade collection or any other conditions. Let's get started. Here's what the app will look like by the end of this video. You'll be able to switch between showing the default modal presentation and showing the same view controller in a popover, even on iPhone. iOS 8 introduced the concept of a presentation controller. Presentation controllers manage the details of the view and transition for controllers shown using Present View Controller. The system has a default way to present the controller based on the size class and modal style settings. Through a delegate on UI Presentation Controller, you can do all kinds of things, such as customize animations, respond to size changes, even change what gets presented. We'll look at a common case of controlling when a view controller is shown as a popover. With a presentation controller, you could set your own object as a delegate to get informed when the view controller is about to be presented and also to control what that presentation will look like. Here are the two important delegate methods we'll be looking at. The first is Adaptive Presentation Style for Presentation Controller, Trait Collection. This will let you return a different presentation style if you want. The second delegate method is Presentation Controller View Controller for Adaptive Presentation Style. This is a really powerful method that lets you return a different view controller than the one being presented. Usually you'll use this to wrap the view controller being presented in a parent and then present the parent. But you can use it to present a completely different view controller. We'll use this in the demo to wrap the view controller in a UI navigation controller so that we have the bar button items available to dismiss the view controller when it's presented modally. We've made a couple of changes to the panoramic photo app. First, we have this detailed disclosure button. And if you tap on that, it shows a view showing information about the photo. And you can see that it's showing this full screen modal, but there's no way to dismiss this. We're actually stuck once we present this, this view. So the two problems are we, we need a way to dismiss this view and it shows full screen modal, but here I'm running on the iPad and there's plenty of room to show this in a popover. We really wanna show this in a popover on the iPad. So let's solve those problems. Here's the method, table view accessory button tapped for row with index path. There's some code added here to present that view controller. It's just instantiating the photo info view and calling present view controller. So let's first solve the problem of showing it as a popover. When you want to present a view as a popover, you need to tell it where to present the popover from, and that's what we'll do here. And we're telling it that the source for the the view that's the source for the rectangle that we're gonna pass it is the table view. And then the rectangle that it should present from is just the rectangle that contains the row with the index path that, that was tapped. Okay, and this is instantiating the photo info view. We need to make a couple changes to that view controller. So let's switch to the photo info view controller and let's just make some room here. So this is a pretty simple class so far. It's just setting the label equal to the text that was passed in for the photo. Let's add a wake from nib here. And we wanna, you know, once the view is instantiated from the nib, this is basically, when it, once it's reconstituted from the storyboard, then we wanna set its modal presentation style. Okay, let's build and run this on the iPad. And now when we tap on the detailed disclosure button, we get a popover showing the info view and that's exactly what we want. It's, it's not sized quite right, and we'll deal with that in the challenge. Let's run this on the iPhone. Even though we're telling it to present as a popover, this is showing up as a modal on the iPhone. And the reason why is that the framework does some stuff automatically for us based on size class. And by default, in a compact width environment, the popover modal presentation style will still show as a full screen. And that's good, usually, if there's not enough room to show a popover and the view behind it, this is the behavior that we want. But that's the default and we can override it. Let's look at how to do that. 
So the delegate gives us the methods that we need, and so we need to implement the delegate. We're just going to set ourselves to the delegate. It's important to put this after the line where we set the modal presentation style to pop over. If you have these two switched, it won't work right. Okay, now that we've set ourselves to the delegate, we need to implement the delegate methods. We'll do that down here in an extension. The first method that we talked about is adaptive presentation style for presentation controller. And there's an old version of this method that does not have the trait collection parameter, but the docs say we should use this one, so let's use this one. Now the purpose of this method is to say, is there a different presentation style that we should use for this presentation controller and this trait collection? If we look at the documentation for this, the return value for this method should be a new presentation style, which must be one of these values. Full screen, over full screen, form sheet, or none. So even though UI modal presentation style has several different options, uh, including popover and custom and current context, the return value from this method is expected to be one of those four values. The adaptive style that we want to return is none. And this tells the presentation controller that we don't want to change our presentation from popover when we're presenting this view controller. So let's try this out. So now we're running on the iPhone, and if we tap the disclosure button, we get the popover presentation. So what if we want it to still show that full screen behavior that's default, but we need it to show the Chrome around it. So we, it needs a, a done button, it needs a navigation bar to put that done button in. That's what that second method that we talked about is for. Let's take a look at that. So here's our presentation controller, view controller for adaptive presentation style method. The first thing that we want to do is if we're Passing none for the adaptive presentation style, then we just want to skip this code. So let's add a check for that. We'll just pass along the controller that we were handed. So if we get passed back none from adaptive presentation style for presentation controller, then we're going to return nil for a new view controller for this adaptive presentation style. Just use the view controller that it was going to use. And of course, if that's not the case, then we'll continue on. What we want to do here is we want to create a navigation controller and wrap the controller that was going to be presented in that navigation controller and present it instead. So first we're creating a UI navigation controller and passing the view controller that was going to be presented as the root view controller. So that basically wraps it as a child of this UI navigation controller. Then we create a done button using a bar button system item. We use ourself as the target for that and we'll have to implement this dismiss modal method in just a second. We add that new done button to the navigation item of the view controller. And here we're returning a completely different view controller than what was going to be presented. So the system's asking us to present this view controller and we're saying present something else instead. So this is really powerful. Let's add that dismiss modal function. So when the user clicks on the done button, then we just want to dismiss that view controller. Let's build and run this. So now in a compact with environment, we get the info view that we got before, but we're also getting a navigation bar with a done button so we can dismiss it. And if we run on the iPad, we're also getting this full screen presentation. And so in the challenge, we'll see how to change the presentation based on the size class. That's it for this video tutorial. And as always, we'd like to leave you with a challenge. 
The popover isn't quite sized correctly, so your challenge is to get the content size correct and then get a little size class action in there by having the view present as a popover in regular height environments since there's plenty of space. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.